Hey, what I'll show you today on the weird world of mapling is uh, how to use a sap hydrometer. This is the short style from Bascom's. It goes from zero to eight um, bricks. Anyway, it doesn't matter what a brick says. All you know is that uh, it's pretty close to percentages as far as I know. So we'll see. Let it go with a gentle spin. And you do not want to let it hit bottom. So if you're not deep enough, don't do it. And then you read my finger apparently. You read the number that's closest to the edge of the water. In this case, we're a little bit more than three, not quite four. Anyhow, that's straight off the tree. I do have my reverse osmosis. You can see the uh, let's see, pump and motor transformer on off switch and filter the RO canisters are on the back so we'll know what we started with a little bit better than three percent sugar or three bricks and we'll double it at least double it on the first pass and then see how much we can get it to since the hydrometer I have only goes up to eight sometimes it floats past eight but then I can't measure it I can't tell you what it is so Short video, how to use a sap hydrometer. Hope you found it useful. For reference, this is the same hydrometer. I just put it into the, the batch of permeate water, which is the pure water that comes off, and it's reading zeros. Can't see it because it's, it's so far down. The more, the sweeter the liquid, the higher it floats, so it's not floating at all.